Hello. The item that I have here is a uh, very large uh, badminton style game paddle called Hagoita. Hagoita are used with the Japanese game of Hanetsuki, which is a traditional game played on New Year's in which uh, uh, participants will bat a little shuttlecock back and forth with these wooden rackets. This is a particularly large one and it has in fact been uh, used in the past. We can take a look at the back and see the many dimples. Can you see all these dimple marks here? Each of these dimple marks was caused when the uh, paddle struck the, uh, bat the shuttlecock on its return trip. So it's a, this is actually an authentic uh, Hagoita that has actually been used, and it's a very large one, so maybe this was uh, Otosan's, maybe father's racket. The game is especially popular with uh, young girls, and like I said, it's a, a game that is commonly played on New Year's, um, although it's not seen that often anymore. It was very popular in old Japan. One of the interesting things about uh, these paddles is that they have taken, over time, they've taken on the um, place of being in a canvas for art and uh, two types of art really. One is the decoration of the front of the paddle with uh, usually a stylized scene on uh, a soft fabric background, sometimes in, in three-dimensional relief. Maybe a, uh, a geisha, for example, in a beautiful kimono where her kimono is flowing down and her hair is all done up and it's very nice in, in, in nice relief. And then sometimes you'll see on the reverse side uh, painted scenes such as we have here. Uh, this Hagoita has uh, both elements. Um, it's rather unusual as we have uh, this dramatic scene of a uh, samurai. Uh, I don't see samurai Hagoita as much as I see uh, beautiful women Hagoita, so this is rather special. We can see that the uh, samurai has his, he's riding, uh, he has his uh, outfit, his warrior's outfit on. He's, um, he's, got, he's all uh, done up for action and a horse can be seen behind him. Let's take a close-up look here. This is a soft fabric. There are some stains and marks on the piece. You can see some stains here along the face, but I think that these uh, stains and marks tend to heighten the effect and give it uh, uh, the uh, um, appearance of age and past use. And you can see the uh, maker's uh, mark here. Here's a red stamp here, which was probably the stamp of the maker. Um, on the back of the of the Hagoita, there's a beautiful painted scene. Oh, there's the dimples. They're showing up very nicely now. A beautiful painted scene of uh, 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 cranes uh, rising above, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a wetland with uh, hills and trees in the background. Let's see if we can get closer on that. Please take a look at the uh, detailed listing photos for uh, more close-up shots. The Hagoita is in good shape. Uh, it has the, the dimples from past use and it is a bit dusty and has some stains in the wood. You can see the uh, stains here and uh, especially here, stained areas. The uh, only significant damage to note is the fact that the uh, decorative cloth element is separating from the wood, you can see here. So this should be handled with care lest more damage uh, occur. Also, uh, some of the fabric is coming loose here. Again though, if you use this as a decorative item in the home, uh, it should be in, in fine shape. I don't know that I'd recommend it for actual use in playing the game. Well, thank you very much for uh, dropping by to have a look at this very interesting item. I'll get back to my uh, virtual uh, uh, game playing and uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye-bye.